All right, welcome back to KM6LYW Radio, show about amateur radio or ham radio with an emphasis on digital or data modes, moving information back and forth, reimagining amateur radio in the information age. Hey, if you've got a Yaesu FTM 100, 400, 300, 500, and you notice they put this cable on the box and you never really knew what this was for, hey, there is APRS data coming out of this table, out of this cable. Let's capture it, this time on KM6LYW Radio. <laughs> All right, welcome back. That was a longer one. <laughs> yeah, the bumper music. Yeah, if this is your first time to the channel, it's like, why is this guy playing guitar? Anyways, that's the bumper music. Thank you. Yeah, that was a long one. I'm running out of jingles. You guys got to help me out. All right, let's talk about the Yesu uh, series uh, dual band radios and see if there's any data coming out of them. And we're going to use the cables and stuff you already have. You already have all this stuff. If you have a Yesu radio, they gave you this cable. You're probably thinking, well, this is probably just for flash and firmware and stuff. I think it is. It's a USB to serial converter, but uh, we can actually get our APRS packet data through this cable and forward it onto the APRS information service and become an iGate. So you already have all the stuff you need to become an APRS iGate. All you need is a PC, Windows, Linux, or Raspberry Pi and plug this cable in. Let's do it right now. Okay, so if you're like me, you got your FTM 400 on Christmas Day. You tore open the box, you got your radio out, you got the head unit, you, you got the base there, and you you saw this cable in the box, and you just threw it, and then you started threw it away and started playing with your radio. So now, get this cable back out. Um, there is a 10-pin connector on the back of these AC radios, and it has um, not audio, um, and you can't really transmit with this, but it actually has a serial port on here. So all of the data that's coming over APRS, which is a VHF packet network on 144.39, is actually being transmitted out of through this cable over the serial port. So it's just numbers and letters coming out of this. There's no audio or anything. There's nothing to decode in that regard. But what Yesu did is they decided to send that data in NMEA 9 GPS format, um, which is kind of useless. Um, so I put together some software, not to be outdone, um, some software called Ygate. Ygate, it's on my GitHub account, that actually rearranges that NMEA uh, traffic, that information, into a back into APRS packet format, and then we can forward that onto the APRS uh, IS information service. And so all of the traffic coming over radio is getting forwarded to the internet. Uh, using our, our FTM 400 or 300 or 500. I, I don't even know all the new model numbers, but they all have this 10 pin connector. And if you have that 10 pin connector, go ahead and take it and plug it into the back of the radio. I don't know if you're going to see it there. It's down at the bottom there. Plug it into the back of the radio and then plug your other end, which is just a USB cable uh, like this, into a Raspberry Pi, a Windows PC, a Linux, anything that can run Python. That's what we're doing here. I've just got a Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, you know, that's $15. So we're talking about an investment of $15, guys, because you already have the cable and the radio uh, to get your uh, Yesu radio turned into an iGate. All right, so that's plugged in. We're, we're powered up. We're on 144390. The Raspberry Pi is turned on and plugged into this SCU20 cable. It's SCU20. Yeah, that's the cable that comes with it. Now, make sure it's it's the right one. It's just a, a serial to USB converter. So what we want to do first is get the Ygate software. This is just a simple Python script that converts the uh, that weird Yesu GPS packet format back into APRS packets, and it'll just forward it on automatically um, as an Ygate. So I want you to go out to github.com slash craigerl slash Ygate. Okay, that's where we're at right now. I'll, I'll put that link in the bottom. Um, so this is the, the readme. It says what radios are supported. So we got the 500, 400, 100, 300. The, um, the HTs are not supported. Um, it, there's just no APRS data coming out of these. So you, you can't use these. That, that would have been cool though. Um, so to install this, all the information is there. You can do a wget here. In fact, I can just do that right now. I'm going to do a wget. You don't even need to use git if you don't want to. Or you can just download it in your web browser. And there it is. We have ygate.py. Um, now, what you want to do is get some more information that you're going to embed in this file. I need to put your, your call sign, your APRS password, which you can generate. Um, you don't win anything by knowing someone else's password because you can just generate them. In fact, if you go to APRS password generator, the first link is going to be... APRS passcode generator, um, then you put your 
your call sign in there and generate your passcode. And there it is. The super secret. No, it's not secret. Passcode. All right. And so you can uh, change mod 755 Ygate so it's executable. This is for Raspberry Pi, but you know it works on uh, Windows too. Um, so let me, um, let me go into ygate.py. That's what we just downloaded. You scroll down just a little bit. Actually, what I'm going to do is take my settings. I'm just going to cut and paste these. This will be easier. Ygate.py. That's what we just downloaded. And you'll notice there's some other information there. And I'm just going to paste that right there. Ta-da! And we'll get rid of this old information. All right, so for Windows, you're gonna uncomment serial port and put COM9 or whatever. I don't know how Windows works, but whatever the COM port is that your ASU pops up on. And then for Linux or Raspberry Pi, put uh, TTY USB zero. And that's pretty much it. Um, you got your call sign, APRS password, latitude and longitude. Entering your latitude and longitude is a little weird. It's like 38 degrees and it's, it's not a decimal. So it's 38 degrees, 41 minutes and 0.2 minutes. Um, so, Check out the GitHub page. It's a strange, the uncompressed packet format for APRS is a little weird, but make sure you get that right. That way you'll show up on the map correctly. And then you can, don't have to worry about the rest of this. And then you change mod 755 Ygate, makes it executable. And then you can, now we can run it. And I'm just gonna take ygate.py and we wait. And we wait, it says login success. Actually, it failed the first time, didn't it? All right, so now we are waiting for APRS traffic to start coming over the wire. We are logged in successfully. We're verified, so we know we get our APRS password correct. And this is the time in the show where we get absolutely no uh, <laughs> traffic on APRS. Now, you can see the data rolling in now. So these are the APRS packets rolling in. Um, I can zoom this data in if you want. Make it so it's not insane. All right, so we're getting traffic from WE6Z, KE6CAC. You know, I've got an HT right here. We're gonna see uh, KM6LYW just popped up right there. That was my packet. And this just got forwarded to the internet to the, for the APRS information service. So anyone can see where I am at right now because I just, uh, that beacon went from this little HT into the Yaesu FTM400 and then it went through this serial cable and it went into this Raspberry Pi and it forwarded that packet onto the APRS information service. You have everything you need to make this work. You are now an iGate. You just saw everything you need to know. This Anyone can do this one. Um, this isn't a hacky Raspberry Pi project. In fact, even if you're a Windows user, you can still get that to work. All right, so thank you guys, I appreciate it. Let me know if you get your Yesu Y gates online and plugged into those Yesu radios. It doesn't work with any other radio that I know of. I think Yesu is the only one that actually has the NMEA9 uh, sentences coming out of that serial port that corresponds to the APRS packets coming through. So I think it's just a Yesu thing. And that's why we called it y uh, Y gate. You know, it rhymes with I gate. Anyways, hey. None of this would be happening if it wasn't for the patrons. Patrons, thank you very much. Patreon.com slash KM6LYW. There are an egregious number of patrons here. Um, this is insane. Thank you so much, guys. You know, my, the radio is beeping right now. There's one thing I'm going to remind you. See, I'm going to give you some secret information because, you know, if, if you stuck around to see all the patrons, and, and then you get a little, little extra <laughs> bit of info. I really, um, I need a better scroller for this, guys. Um, I'm really overwhelmed. I can't, there's no way I can read all of these names. I, I really do appreciate it. You know, the one thing that I was going to mention, this is the secret bit of information. You hold down display, click on APRS. And make sure the modem is on, okay? Um, if the modem is off, which might be the default, this isn't going to work. So go ahead and turn that modem on. Um, I'll probably put that in the notes as well. But anyways, that's it. We've got an APRS iGate made out of all the stuff you already have with your Yesu radio just by simply running the Ygate software on my GitHub account. Hey, uh, patrons get access to the DigiPy uh, SD card image, which implements all of the data modes we talk about on this channel. So you know, all the patrons at patreon.com slash KM6LYW, you get access to the DigiPy. There's all this packet stuff, you hook your phone up, all you need is a web browser, and you can do every data mode there is. Um, all with, from the convenience of your Wi-Fi device or phone or that kind of stuff. Anyways, thank you, patrons. I really do appreciate it. All right, hey, my name is Craig, amateur radio call sign KM6LYW, and uh, I'm in California. 
and I am clear. <laughs>